Hello and welcome, my name is Ryan, I'm also known as RM2K Dev. This video is just going to be a quick supplement, uh, sort of prequel to the boss fight videos that I'm going to be probably putting up right after I upload this one. Now I know I've said before that I'm not really the greatest at uh, mapping, uh, creating maps for games and making them look right, but I was working on the dungeon that we're going to be using for our, um, for our boss fight. Uh, this is what I've got here in RPG Maker at the moment, and I just I, I came across something that I think I just wanted to share with you guys. Now, um, basically, what it is is that everything in this map has been put here for a reason. Now, obviously, uh, there's a theme to this. We're, we're going into this cave, and there is some some water has leaked down here. Obviously, moss has grown, and some plants have grown out of that water. There's a way out and a way in, and things like that. But the the floor itself, where you'll be running across and fighting this boss was looking very dull. So I looked at my tile set palette in the top left here. I'm just using the standard RTP. Excuse me. And I found a really nice grass tile. Uh, if I can remember where it is. There it is. There. That one there. It's just, just this mossy grass. And I was thinking to myself, okay, why don't I just start placing that down? And okay, that looks great. That's, you know, that's fine. But then I thought, well, hang on a minute. Moss only grows near water. So I started placing it down near the water and I noticed something. I noticed that if you place m things where they would naturally occur you get much better results because it just looks more natural. Um, you would expect there to be some sort of grassy overgrowths near near where the water is and less so in the in the center there. You might have a little bit in the center but more or less it looks a lot better if you place it where, where you would expect it to go. So basically the point of this really short video it's only going to be about a minute or two minutes long. It's just to tell you guys, think about where you're placing these objects. So, uh, obviously, part of the part of this map is going to be that there are four four pillars which are going to be firing at you, and there's going to be a boss sitting on this chair up in the top here. But just things like smaller things, like the grass and the place where the cracks are, they they obviously have a a reason. So you'll notice that where there's these cracks here, I've created bigger pools of water, more or less as a way of suggesting that they're going to be leaking that water into the map. Something else I'm going to add is some of these little grassy looking herb things and I'm going to add those near the water because this is pretty shallow water and you'd sort of expect to see some of this stuff growing out of here and maybe even on this moss, you know, some little overgrowths and just things like that, you know, it's, it's, grown, it's, it's grown out of the, out of the, the moss and the stone and even some of these detailed things like these, uh, diamond and crystal, I don't know what they are, you know, like these ores, you know, where rocks grow. You'd think near near water you might have some of that, you know, not too many because it's a rare resource, but just uh, have a think about where you're placing these things. So that was all I really wanted to suggest, or not suggest, but uh, share with you guys for this video. So thank you for watching. Um, this video is not really going to be part of the RPG tutorial series, it's just something I wanted to show you guys and uh, a way of thinking about things and the placement of objects. So yeah, it's a bit of a supplement to the series uh, and it's not going to count as a, a video. Like I'm not going to post this and then go, okay, that's it. No more videos for two days. I'm just going to post this with the boss fight video that goes up. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys for watching and um, please like this video, share it, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you didn't like the video the first time I said like the video, please like the video. Uh, that's all. Thank you guys. Bye.